hello, I'm Will, I'm the Bald Book Geek, and right now I've got you perched on my hamster cage because for some unknown reason I can't find what I'm looking for. My tripod has decided to die. I'm out of hamsters, a little roo update. There she is, she's doing really well and has a liking for eating toilet roll tubes and getting ear rubs and will quite happily lay there for five hours while I rub her belly. But this video is a little bit different. This is an autumn reads. I did one last year, and I'd love to know what you guys are reading in the autumn. For me, autumn is always, um, isn't that just cute? Um, autumn for me is always about a few rereads. Books that I can, because I love autumn, but as autumn gets colder and into winter, it becomes depressing. So, I tend to read books that I love, that I know I'm loving. So, To Kill a Mockingbird, His Dark Materials, Harry Potter does get pulled up every now and then. What I'm going to say, though, is I'm really enjoying Rainbow Rowd's work. I'm like, how the bloop did that happen? I'm like, I hated Eleanor and Part when I read it, and I DNF'd Fangirl years ago. Or however long ago it was. But you know what? I'm reading them, and I'm really getting into them. Maybe I just need a time, because I read Carry On, which I really enjoyed. So I'm on a massive, massive, um, in between sort of my normal TBR, I'm on a massive um, Rainbow Round kick, and I'm really looking forward to her take on The Runaways. What I'm going to say is, um, well, say, ask, what are you guys reading? I want to know. I w I'd love to get some comments going and some chat going because there's the comments section. Use it. If you don't want to use the comments, find me on Instagram. Find me on Tumblr. Find me on Facebook. Find me on Twitter. I'm there. And yes, I do have a slight side affection, so I sound like crap. What I'm going to say is um, also, I'm going to put this question out there. What are the books that you that set the mood for you in autumn. What's, what's the books? So for me, when I was a teenager, I used to read fantasy a lot in the autumn. So it would be things like my reread of Lord of the Rings, or The Hobbit, or any Tolkien, to be honest. Or even sort of rereads of um, the, the Inheritance Cycle, despite its sheer cheesiness and many flaws. Also, I tend to do a lot of my Wreck This Journal stuff this kind of year, so that's always fun. And I've got a lot of creative projects going. I tend to be more creative this season because I'm not distracted by weather and I'm not distracted by whatever else is going on. So I'm going to put that out there here and now. I would love to know what you guys read. I'd love to know what you think are quintessential autumn books because I just do. And it's strange that Emma and Park has really put me in an autumn mood. I don't know how to explain that. I'm really enjoying it. I'm slightly loving the 80s, and you can kind of blame Paramore for that. Uh, so yeah, so as always, I'm asking you guys, comment down below, tell me, answer the questions I've asked you, um, and just hit me up, uh, smosh that like button, and there's also a subscriber thingy that should be on the screen in the bottom corner. Can you guys also hit that, please, if you're watching? Because that would be really welcome. I want to get to a 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year. Uh, but, yeah. So, I'm also going to tell you guys something. I'm working on a creative project. Can't say too much, but involves superheroes. So, yes. As always, I'm Will. I'm the Bald Book Geek, and I will speak to you guys 